Things are starting to look up for the travel industry here in El Paso, one of the hardest hit industries since the pandemic. But it's still facing a major hurdle in order to get back to normal. ABC 7's Brianna Chavez joins us live. And Brianna, how is the industry looking to rebuild? Well, Eric, the key is just to get as many people vaccinated as possible. And since El Paso's vaccination rate is going up, we're starting to see more events pop up as well, like the Plaza Theater. They announced that they're going to have their film festival this summer. And even though it's good news for the tourism industry that we're starting to see these events to attract more people to El Paso, border restrictions are still playing a really huge role in El Paso's economy. Now, according to the Texas Comptroller, as of November of 2020, the state's accommodation industry lost more than 26 thousand jobs within the year. Now, Brian Crow with Destination El Paso says despite border restrictions on non-essential travel, El Paso's tourism industry is actually doing better compared to the rest of the state thanks to business travel, government travel, and people who are coming through I-10. Now, Crow says hotel occupancy especially is high on the weekends, and while those are good signs, Crow is hopeful that as more people get vaccinated, the federal government could decide to lift border restrictions by as early as the summer. I'm very hopeful that we'll see something in the next month or two. And I feel like, um, you know, as our community and, and all communities all across the, the borders, uh, the, the U.S. southern border, um, you know, are able to increase vaccination to be able to protect their communities. I think that you will we'll see that the argument can be made that, that you know, that the, uh, you know, the economic restriction is, 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 is too much to, to not go ahead and reopen um, the border. And things are really looking up, but they are really just relying on that vaccination rate to continue to go up. And the hotel industry is actually working on reopening even more, and that includes hiring even more people, especially the Plaza Hotel to my left. We'll hear from them coming up on ABC7 at 6. For now, reporting live in downtown El Paso, Brianna Chavez, ABC7.